Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So as per requested from you guys, today I'm gonna do a 100% drugstore makeup look. I'm gonna do a fresh, perfect for spring makeup look and all the products I'm using are from the drugstore. I will list all the products in the down bar as always. And this is actually the first time ever that I'm making a complete drugstore makeup tutorial. Uh, and I think like the first time in my life that I'm just using drugstore makeup products because I do love good like high-end makeup products. It's just something I enjoy. Uh, but I definitely wanted to create a drugstore makeup look for you guys. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and make this face more presentable. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply some of my Nivea Men Post Shave Balm all over my face and this is just gonna kind of prime my face, uh, make sure that all the products, you know, stick to my skin nice and evenly. Next up, I'm gonna take my The Body Shop um, All-in-One 5 Action Perfector Insta Blur. I think that The Body Shop classifies as drugstore. I'm not 100% sure, but I checked the price and I definitely think it is a drugstore kind of price. The texture of this is really weird. It's like kind of like lumpy, so I usually just work it into my, with my fingers. Now it's time for a foundation and I'm gonna use my, probably my all-time favorite drugstore foundation, which is the L'Oreal True Match and currently I'm really pale, so I'm gonna use the shade 1W. I'm gonna blend it in with my beauty blender as always. Now that my foundation is nice and blended in, I'm gonna take my favorite or one of my favorite concealers, which is the Maybelline Maybelline, Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Effect. And this is in the shade Light, and I'm just gonna apply this all over my under eyes. I love this so much, it feels so good, and it just gives you the perfect amount of like everyday coverage. I'm just gonna blend it in with the same beauty blender, or my pink egg, as Edwin calls it. <laughs> Speaking of eggs, it's almost Easter, guys. Actually, this is the last video that I'm gonna upload before Easter, so if you celebrate Easter, happy Easter. I hope you'll have an amazing time. I'm actually going to my summer house. Oh my gosh, let me know in the comments down below what your Easter traditions are. I would love to know because I feel like I don't know enough about other, how other people celebrate Easter. When I was younger, I remember that we went into town and there was like this <laughs> so we dressed up as like witches, not witches, but like, I don't know if you have a word for them. I think this is like, like a Nordic tradition or something, but we dressed up as uh, Easter witches. I don't know. I'll try and insert a picture if I can find a picture, but, and we had like brooms, broomsticks, and we had this like competition in town with other kids and we had to like jump um, and whoever like jumped faster to like the goal, won some sort of candy or something. So we did that and then when we came when we came back home, the Easter not Easter bunny, but in my family we have the Easter rooster. So <laughs> the Easter rooster came and dropped off his eggs, which actually is more logical when you think about it, like rooster, egg. Anyway, uh he dropped off eggs and then we got like little notes with clues of where the eggs were. So we basically went on an egg hunt, an Easter egg hunt, but instead of, you know, collecting little tiny eggs, we collected big eggs filled with lovely, yummy Swedish candy. Now I'm gonna set my foundation, my face, with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in Transparent. So yeah, we found our eggs, we ate candy all day. And then we just had like Easter dinner with my family. Oh no! I was gonna use my creamy contour kit from Sleek, but now I've powdered, so I can't do that. Darn it! <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and start bronzing up my face. I'm gonna use my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. Butter Bronzer! I don't like the scent of this because it smells like coconut and I'm not a big fan of coconut. I know a lot of people love this scent, but I'm not a big fan. But I do love the bronzer. It's a perfect, you know, kind of pale shade for me now that I am pale. So I'm just gonna apply this in the hollows of my cheeks. I'm gonna blend it up. It's a perfect kind of cool toned 
um, bronzer shade, but it's not too gray and ashy because as I have like quite a yellow undertone to my skin, uh, bronzers and contour shades that are too ashy look too ashy. They look kind of like dirty on my face. And for spring, I just kind of like to go ham <laughs> with my bronzers because it's the time when I want to start looking really bronze, but I'm still pale. And then I'm going to blend it down my neck. Now I'm going to take a really, really natural blush. This is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Blush in Bare Honey. Usually for my blush, I like to kind of start back here really lightly and then I blend it forward. So I don't I don't want to focus all the color on the apples of my cheeks because I feel like that makes my face a little bit too round. I love this. I think it's... I love natural blush shades. I've realized that I think that's my favorite kind of blush shade. Time for highlight and I'm super excited to use this in a video. This is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter in 10 Be My Highlight. It is amazing. It's such a lovely natural highlighter, but it definitely still like shows up on your skin. So I really hope you guys are going to be able to see the magic of this highlighter in the camera. So I'm just going to apply this on top of my cheekbones. Oh my god, I love it. It's so natural, but it's still really, it really does make your cheekbones pop. And it makes your skin look more healthy and luminous. I don't really have a ton of drugstore brow products because I just use my Benefit brow products all the time. But I did find this in my drawer and I hope this is good. I remember I used this for a while when, you know, I was younger. This is an e.l.f. eyebrow kit. I'm not sure what shade this is, but it has a creamy shade and like a powder shade. So I'm just gonna try and use like the creamy shade. It's quite an old product, so <laughs> I feel like it's dried out a little bit. All right, so that's what my brow is looking like so far. And then I'm gonna try this product out, which I actually haven't tried. It was sent to me by a subscriber. This is the Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara, and this is in the shade One Blondie Brows. And I'm gonna set my brows with this, and I also this is also gonna give them more color before and after. It's time for eyeshadow. So I'm gonna start with a transition color. I can't talk today. I don't know if you guys have noticed. This is the Sleek Eye Divine Oh So Special Palette and I'm gonna pick this shade up right here. Wait, no, actually, I'm gonna start with this. This is an eyeshadow base or a, a you know cream eyeshadow from Maybelline. It's the color Tattoo 24 hour in inked in pink. I haven't used these in ages. I used to use them all the time when I was in high school. And I'm actually going to apply a little bit of this under my eye as well. Now I'm going to take this palette from Wet n Wild. This is in the shade Bare and Beautiful. And I'm going to take the crease color in here with the same brush. And I'm just going to layer that on top of the transition color. Now I'm going to take a flat shader brush and I'm going to go in with this brow bone color. Don't always have to do what they ask you to do. Now I'm going to go into this color right here from the Essence All About Sunrise palette. It's kind of like a taupey color. <laughs> and I'm going to focus this on the, like the crease and I'm not going to blend it up very far, like the crease in outer corner. And now I'm going to take this middle shade. I'm just going to layer that on top. With the same brush, I am going to take the definer color in the Wet n Wild palette. And I'm just going to pick that up on the tip of my brush. Oop, dust off the excess. And then I'm going to start building that up in the outer corner of my eye but I still want to keep this eye look quite light. This is just to add some more definition. I'm going to go with that under my eye 
like the outer third of my under eye. Okay, now I'm gonna take the first brush I used again and I'm gonna go in with this color again. And I'm just gonna blend everything With the same brush again, I'm gonna go in with this more pinky color. I'm gonna add that on my lower lash line or my under eye. And then I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild palette again and with my pinky, I'm gonna take the base color and I'm just gonna kind of apply that on my brow bone. Last but not least, I'm gonna go in with the Essence palette again, and I'm gonna, with my pinky, pick up this really light, shimmery color, and I'm gonna dot that in my inner corner. I love doing this. I always put some sort of highlight in my inner corner because I feel like it really brightens up my eyes. Now I'm gonna take my Rimmel Scandalized uh, eyeliner in the shade Nude, and I'm gonna apply that on my waterline. Now I'm gonna take my Rimmel Soft Cold Kajal Eyeliner Pencil in Jet Black and I am gonna apply that on my upper lash line. But I wanna keep this really close to my lash line. I don't want it to be dramatic at all. This is just to kind of give my eyes more definition. And then if you, like me, think it's quite hard to get like really close to the lashes, because uh, my lashes are really uneven. I'm gonna take a liquid liner, and this is from Essence. It is a waterproof liquid liner. I'm just gonna kind of go really, really, really close to my lash line. I'm not gonna cover the entire, you know, eyeliner that we just drew. I'm just gonna go on the, like, as close to my actual lashes as possible, and this is just gonna make my lashes look fuller. you guys see a difference? And now I'm gonna take my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. I think this is quite old. I'm not sure how it's gonna work. Okay, mascara is on. And now I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Um, I am gonna create freckles. And this is something you absolutely don't have to do. But I just thought since it, this is a spring look, when I go out in the sun in the spring and the first, you know, sun rays hit my nose, I do tend to get a few freckles. So I am gonna try and create really natural freckles. So I'm gonna take the Sleek Contour Kit. With this color right here, I'm just gonna dip the brush into it. And then I'm gonna start on the bridge of my nose and then I'm gonna work my way to the side of my nose. <laughs> And then I'm gonna take my beauty blender and before it dries, I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out a little bit. And then I'm gonna add some on my forehead. Okay, now I'm gonna try and use a lip liner. I'm, I have three alternatives here. Okay, I think I'm gonna use the NYX lip liner in natural and I'm gonna create some more freckles. This is a little bit more red toned, and it's also gonna just create like different shapes to my freckles. And then I am gonna take my bronzer again, the butter bronzer. And I'm gonna apply a little bit of bronzer on the bridge of my nose just to make it more realistic and more like I've been sun kissed. So just where we applied the freckles, I'm gonna bronze up a little bit. And then last but not least for lips, I can't really decide <laughs> what color I wanna use. I think I'm gonna go for a PT lip gloss. This is a mini uh, one of the Too Faced Sweet Peach Creamy Lip Gloss. Last step is to set everything in with a setting spray. I love this setting spray. This is my current favorite. It's the Milani Make It Last setting spray. Mm -mm -mm. It feels so fresh. All right, so this is the finished look. I love this look. I think it's a perfect, fresh spring look. I love the freckles. I love the kind of like sun-kissed look. I know it's natural and I know I keep making natural makeup looks. So if you guys have any other 
requests of makeup looks you want me to create on this channel, let me know. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you want to stick around. I would love to have you here on my channel and I will see you very soon again for another video. Bye guys!